Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing TikTok, wearing red and black, official weight, 165.4 pounds, posting an outstanding 20 million TikTok flowers, born in Maryland, and now living, training, and fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, the self-proclaimed bad boy of Sway House, Bryce Hall! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing YouTube, wearing black and orange, and officially weighing in at 172.4 pounds. He brings 19 million YouTube subscribers, a native of Palmdale, California, USA, recognized as the founding face of Ace, Austin McBride. to the center. All right, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the corner I tell you to go to, and we're going to call you out. And most importantly, keep it clean. Touch them up. I was not expecting a touching of the gloves there, to be honest with you. But here we go, guys. Uh, I'm excited. Our main event. Uh, your main event. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. I cannot wait. There's been so much build up to this moment right now. And How we're do gonna... you guys feel, right? Like, you guys know these people. You know them through and through. What's my the... heart's out of my chest right now, <laughs> honestly. You don't understand the pressure. Like, there's been so much that went into this. So many different storylines. So much trash talk. We're going to find out right now. Oh here we go. God. Austin McBroom in the orange trim. Fluffy trim. Yeah, Bryce Hall in the red and black. Austin smiling at him early. Immediately, I like this stance of McBroom a little better. Bryce Hall said he's been sparring four to five times a week. Good left hand by McBroom. And that's the best thing these guys can do, right? It's all about experience. The more sparring, the better. Now, Austin's been used to coaching with, with other sports and everything else. Bryce Hall. Oh! Uh oh. Austin got in trouble. All right, so McBroom, a little shot there on Bryce Hall as they broke up. Bryce Hall's been in over 40 street fights. Oh! Very interesting. So he does bring a little experience to the to this ring, right? And anytime there was an influencer meetup, Bryce Hall got in a fight with another influencer. It happened so many times, I, I couldn't even tell you. Austin McBroom, a former NCAA basketball player, said his dream was to play in the NBA. Ooh, beautiful. Big, oh, big beautiful left hand by McBroom. Left. Wow, which explains why Austin's footwork is looking so nice right now. Paul immediately One trying point. to tie up. He got a point One taken point. Oh, for that. Pick him up, keep it clean, and then the fucking point. Let's go. This ref is not. This team needs to tell Bryce to stay composed at this time. So the referee just took a full point away from Bryce Hall. Well, it looked like he was going in there and he's doing more of a full contact MMA type of style, right? That is not what we're doing here. Well, that's Bryce. I mean, that's... <laughs> we talk about the street fights. He wants to tackle people. This ref could stop this fight. I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't. I already see blood pouring out of Bryce's nose. Well, and Bryce looks scared, right? That's why he's tying up. He's getting hit really hard, and he's scared. On his oh. see the fear in his eyes. Another big left hand. If, if he doesn't lift, lift in the ref's office. Hey, hey, guys, there's a million-dollar bet on the line here. They bet wait, wait. each other $1 million. I'll if be honest. I was so into that round, I didn't even look at the clock. No, I didn't, I didn't see it. Hey, bet. 
to happen for the million dollar bet to go down. Hey, it's looking pretty good for McBroom at this point, right? All right, so a knockout or a TKO, does that pay too? I think King, it was King's interview. I believe it was in my, a knockout. It, okay. Knockout in my That's interview. Okay, so he has to be knocked out. Okay. But if you look around, you see how the entire arena has pushed up. I mean, this is insane. The craziest thing I saw when Bryce was in this corner, Austin's team was literally yelling at him from ringside, trying to get into his head, when trying to make him lose his composure. Hey, it's strategy, baby. That's strategy. And here's right there that McBroom didn't like what Bryce Hall was doing. And he said, he's grabbing me. So then right after that is when Bryce had a point deducted because, that again, he would just go in. And then that you cannot do. No. Nope. Not right. MMA, guys. We got to keep it clean. Again, this main event, five rounds, two-minute rounds. Bryce Hall's already had a point deducted. That first round looked like it was clearly to Austin McBroom. Yeah, so possibly that round is a 10-8 round, right, with the point being taken. No doubt. That's what I judged it on, on the unofficial scorecard. Oh. So far, it's going the way I thought with Austin with the lead, but Bryce is a tough kid. And these two are just standing there. Big right oh, hand is right. picking up. is clearly an advantage. You know, my biggest takeaway, it looks like Austin's having fun in there. He no. is. No. He is. The speed of Austin McBroom is unreal. His footwork is amazing, and this is exactly what Bryce had to worry about coming in. This Bryce. is deep waters for Hall. Deep waters. Bryce should be thankful that hook did not land. Ooh. Every shot oh, is good. Oh, straight left. Oh. And Bryce Hall's head is just snapping back. Hall does have to pay the million. Oh, I mean, wow. So Bryce does it again. Again. And now the referee's like, I'm going to take away another one. Oh, you know, these boxing commissioners, they're used to, you know, those professional high-level fights. This is a no-nonsense ref. Well, it's not a secret. Bryce got paid $5 million for this. Stop, stop. Let's go. Come on. So if he has to pay a million, he's still up. Oh, a big straight left hand. Giving him a standing Six, eight count. Seven. Two, I'm good. I see you. And Bryce Hall saying, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let me fight. And that's the end of the second round. But oh in the in the judge's eyes, that standing eight count had to give the round to McBroom. Absolutely. A hundred percent. And you just see how tough this guy is. I mean, he's sitting there arguing with, with everybody. They focus Taylor. You got to slip those hooks. He throw hooks, so you got to slip them, all right? But you got to get inside and make it a ball fight now, all right? Come on. You know you can do it. Paige, what did you see here in the second round? Uh, the power shots, right? McBroom's coming with, with tons of punches. He has way more power. And he's utilizing oh. his weight, right? He's putting his weight behind every punch. Mm -hmm. He's got more power. He's got more quickness. Foos, what are you seeing? Man, I see Austin taking control right now, and I see Bryce losing his composure little by little. You're starting to see the blood coming out of the nose of Bryce Hall as we head into round number three. So far, Bryce has a chin. He can take a punch. Now, if those ounces were different, I don't know if it would be the same story. Yeah, that's right. If those, if those Ooh, gloves were smaller. Okay. Bryce starting off strong with that body shot, head shot. Austin coming back, clinched up. Oh, he is throwing from left field. Now, a problem there, right? A little mistake on McBroom's part. Just because you're tied up, you can still punch there. Until the ref separates you, it's still live action. It looks like Bryce has turned the gas on. I, I, you know, it's that fight or flight response, right? He realizes he's in trouble and he needs to turn it up if he wants any chance to yeah, win this he's, fight. He's reacting to what's being thrown at him right now. He's not trying to control the narrative at all at this point. McBroom, if, if he would put my 
punches together and not keep throwing these wannabe knockout shots, he would finish it. He would get the knockout he's looking for, but you got to set it up. McBroom really looks like he's enjoying himself <laughs> thus far. Oh, he's got to be. Once you smell blood, then you just feel, feel what it feels like to be a fighter. We are more than halfway through the scheduled five rounds. You know, earlier we talked about how nobody wanted to fight Taylor Holder. Well, it is the exact opposite. Oh! in control. I see that. Absolutely, that was a good stop. But you have to remember, these are amateur fights and not pro fights. These are what's considered a smoker fight, right? That was a good stop. He was taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage. There can't be too much debate. Clearly, Austin was going to get the knockout. It wasn't going to change. The direction of this fight was That's not, not going to change. But when you got a million dollars on the table, maybe you give him one more. I don't know. I'm, but I'm interested to see what Bryce has to say right now because I saw when it was stopped, he looked really angry. Yes. Oh, yeah. Does he go into this with fighting words or does he take his loss? Oh, he's going to lose his mind. This guy, this guy's going to be very angry. This is going to get very heated in this interview. All right, I want to go quickly and take a look at the final punch stats presented by Stat Hero Survive the Game. And it's very, very one sided, guys. Absolutely. If Bryce Hall is upset, then. He wasn't in the same fight that we were watching. <laughs> well, Bryce Call is uh, one of those kids that just never wants to give up. You know, Logan Paul said it best. Logan Paul was doing an interview. He was asked about Bryce Hall, and he said, I love Bryce Hall to death. He goes, but he's really good at losing. He loves fighting, <laughs> but he's really good at losing. And he said Austin would win this fight. Well, Austin McBroom was the favorite. And... He proved tonight exactly why the sports books had him favored. Here's the end of the fight. Take me through if you guys think the stoppage was good. Hey, Sean, help me out. Which one is Paige and Fowler? Did you see 15? All right. Ooh. Boom, boom. Oh, that started it right there. He's already in a daze. Uh, of course you got to stop this. I think there's an uh, – oh, my oh. goodness. This is a barrage. He's not defending the head anymore. Look at oh, that. Oh, no. And so he tries – well, you know what? You're right. He tried to grab oh, him to stay up. Bryce is going to try to stay. Yep. He's going to say I was thrown down. Yeah. Yep. That's that's going to be the storyline right there. But clearly, Austin McBroom won. Boy, he was the class of the field. He was the class of the night. And, and there's layers to this, Coach. Okay. Listen, now that Austin McBroom just won, he's calling out Jake. He's calling out oh, Logan. He's like, guaranteed calling out Jake right now. Like, like, ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Because if that happens, we're talking about the biggest event on the planet. It. Now I'm even more excited for the interview. Austin looks unscathed. His face looks just as pretty as before. Now he, the big question is, does he have the cutest family in YouTube? He never lost control. Absolutely never lost control during the fight. And just like any major boxing event, you've got Michael Buffer standing in the middle of the ring and a bunch of people well, milling around. Well, the ring looks packed, but that's just the McBrooms. There's so many of them. <laughs> Yo, they have a reason to celebrate. Each one of them won tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, Land Landon was dynamic. All right, it's time for the official announcement of the winner of our main event. Let's send it back up to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, before we give the official time, a round of applause for the two fighters in the ring and all the fighters here tonight, along with our great night of entertainment. 
It's been a great evening of sports and entertainment. In the ring at this time, referee Big Chris Edgehill calls a halt to the contest at 45 seconds, round number three. The winner by TKO victory from Team YouTube, Austin Micro! Well, clearly they have buried their beef. Plenty of respect, and that's what you like to see. But when it comes to building up a fight, when it comes to selling a fight, there, there could be a lot of fighters that could learn from these two. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, I cannot believe this Austin McBroom thing. You know, I've been on the calls, getting ready, getting prepared for this event. He, I was on the phone with Austin. He told me he had 20 meetings, and this was like noon. I mean, the guy put this event together, and then was the main event, and then knocked out Bryce Hall. It feels like you're a little bit excited right now. It's in, it, I,